Have you ever stopped to ponder, what makes us human? How did we come to be the intelligent, complex beings that we are today? Today we're diving deep into the fascinating topic of human evolution. There's a profound importance in understanding our origins, as it helps us comprehend not only our past, but also our present and potential future. It's time for us to peel back the layers of history. Join us as we embark on a journey, tracing our roots, from the earliest known human ancestors to modern Homo sapiens. Our journey begins nearly 6 million years ago, with the earliest known human ancestors, the hominids. Stepping back into the dawn of humankind, we find ourselves in the company of our earliest known ancestors, the hominids. These beings were a far cry from the sophisticated, tool-using, language-speaking humans we are today. Yet, they held within them the seeds of humanity. Hominids were distinguished from other animals by their upright posture. This bipedal locomotion, as it's called, freed their hands, opening up a world of possibilities, a world where they could manipulate their environment, paving the way for tool use and eventually the creation of complex societies. Their lifestyle, much like the other animals they shared the earth with, was primarily dictated by the need for survival. They were hunter-gatherers, foraging for plant-based foods and hunting small game. However, what set them apart was their social behavior. They lived in groups, offering a glimpse into the early origins of human social structure. Among these early hominids was a species known as Australopithecus, who roamed the African savanna some four million years ago. Australopithecus was a key player in our evolutionary journey, possessing both ape-like and human-like traits. With a brain size comparable to that of a modern chimpanzee, they were not as cognitively advanced as us. Yet they walked upright, used simple tools, and even showed signs of early cooperative behavior. Just imagine the seeds of everything we are today, our ability to create, to communicate, to cooperate, were all there in these seemingly primitive beings. Our capacity for empathy, our knack for innovation, our drive for exploration, all find their roots in these early hominids. As we delve deeper into the story of human evolution, let's not forget these early pioneers. They may have been primitive by our standards, but they were remarkable in their own right. They adapted, they survived, and they thrived in a world that was as challenging as it was different from ours. These early hominids set the stage for the evolution of the human species as we know it. Approximately two and a half million years ago, a new genus emerged, the Homo. This was a pivotal moment in the story of human evolution. The Homo genus was distinct from its predecessors, showing significant advancements not only in physical attributes, but also in cognitive abilities. Among the first of our Homo ancestors was Homo habilis, aptly named Handyman, for their innovative use of tools. They were the first of our ancestors to step away from mere scavenging, using tools to break open bones and access the nutritious marrow inside. Their hands, capable of precise grip, allowed them to fashion and use these tools, marking a significant leap in our evolutionary story. As we journey forward in time, we encounter Homo erectus, or upright man. Homo erectus were true pioneers, the first of our ancestors to stand tall and walk fully upright. This upright posture freed their hands, allowing them to carry tools and food over long distances. But their innovations didn't stop there. They were also the first to harness the power of fire. Fire brought with it several advantages. It provided warmth in cold climates, protection from predators, and allowed our ancestors to cook food, making it easier to digest and more nutritious. The use of tools and fire by Homo habilis and Homo erectus respectively, set the Homo genus on a path of rapid development. These advancements were not merely about survival. They were the first steps towards civilization, the first glimmers of a collective memory and shared knowledge. They marked the beginning of a culture, of shared experiences, and of a collective struggle for survival. The Homo genus, with its tool use and control of fire, was a game changer in the evolutionary timeline. These abilities allowed them to adapt to changing environments, to conquer new territories, and to pave the way for further advancements. With the rise of the Homo genus, the foundation for modern humans was laid. Fast forward to around 400,000 years ago, two new species appeared on the scene, Neanderthals and Denisovans. The Neanderthals, our closest extinct relatives, were a robust species who thrived in the harsh climates of Ice Age Europe. They were shorter and stockier than us, with a distinctive prominent brow and a wide, barrel-shaped rib cage. They were also quite intelligent, fashioning tools from stone and possibly even using language. Denisovans, on the other hand, are a bit more mysterious. 
We know they existed because of a tiny fragment of a pinky bone and three teeth discovered in a Siberian cave. Despite the scarcity of physical evidence, we've been able to glean a lot from their DNA. They were likely dark-skinned and dark-eyed, and they lived across Asia, from Siberia to Southeast Asia. But what's really fascinating is the culture these species developed. Neanderthals, for instance, buried their dead. They also used pigments, possibly for body decoration or art. Denisovans, despite our limited knowledge, showed an impressive level of technological sophistication. They crafted a beautiful bracelet out of dark green stone, polished to a high sheen, and a bone needle, hinting at an ability to make tailored clothing. Now here's where it gets really interesting. These two species didn't just live alongside Homo sapiens, they interbred with us. That's right, if you're of non-African descent, chances are you have a bit of Neanderthal or Denisovan DNA in you. This interbreeding wasn't just a one-off event either. It happened multiple times, over tens of thousands of years, resulting in a complex web of ancestry that scientists are still trying to untangle. Despite their extinction, Neanderthals and Denisovans left an indelible mark on the genetic makeup of modern humans. So the next time you look in the mirror, remember, you're not just looking at a Homo sapien, you're looking at a mosaic of human evolution, a testament to the adaptability and resilience of our species. Around 300,000 years ago, a new species emerged that would change the course of history, Homo sapiens. This species, our direct ancestors, demonstrated a unique blend of physical and intellectual traits that set them apart from their predecessors. They were taller with a lighter skeletal structure, and most importantly, they had a larger brain capacity. These early Homo sapiens, often referred to as the wise man, were not just physically distinct, but they also led a lifestyle that was markedly different from their ancestors. They were hunter-gatherers and lived in small, mobile groups. Their diet was varied, including meat from large game, fruits, nuts, and roots. They used tools, yes, but what truly set them apart was their ability to think symbolically and abstractly, to plan ahead, and to communicate using complex language. In addition to their physical prowess and intellectual capabilities, the culture of early Homo sapiens is a fascinating subject. They created elaborate tools and weapons not just for survival, but also for artistic expression. They adorned themselves with jewelry, painted on cave walls, and even held rituals. Their ability to form complex social structures and to cooperate in large numbers gave them a significant advantage over other species. But the Homo sapiens didn't just stay put in one place, they were explorers and adventurers. Around 70,000 years ago, a group of these early humans embarked on an incredible journey out of Africa. They traveled across lands and seas, braving harsh climates and dangerous terrains. They encountered different species like the Neanderthals and Denisovans, sometimes interbreeding with them. Gradually, they spread across the entire globe, reaching as far as Australia and the Americas. This global spread of Homo sapiens is one of the most significant events in our planet's history. It marked the beginning of a new era, an era dominated by us, the Homo sapiens. It's quite a fascinating thought, isn't it? From humble beginnings in the African savannas, we have come a long way. Homo sapiens, our direct ancestors, were now poised to dominate the planet. The last ice age, ending around 10,000 years ago, brought about dramatic changes in the human story. The retreat of the massive ice sheets created new landscapes and environments, ripe for human exploration and settlement. This climatic shift brought about an abundance of resources, leading to a crucial turning point in our history. The Agricultural Revolution. Imagine a time when our ancestors roamed the earth, living in small, mobile groups, constantly on the move in search of food and shelter. They were the ultimate survivalists, adapting to the harsh conditions of the Ice Age. But as the ice began to melt, new opportunities arose. The warming climate led to an increase in plant and animal life, providing a more stable food source. This abundance prompted a shift from nomadic hunter-gatherer lifestyles to settled farming communities. Instead of chasing their food, humans began to control their food sources. They domesticated animals and started cultivating crops. This was a radical change, marking the birth of agriculture. The advent of farming wasn't just about food, though. It brought about profound social and cultural changes. Settled communities meant more people could live together, leading to the development of complex societies. It also meant that people could specialize in tasks other than gathering food, like crafting tools, building structures, or creating art. This specialization of labor is one of the cornerstones of civilization, 
But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Settled life brought new challenges like managing surplus food, dealing with population growth, and defending against potential threats. Humans had to innovate and adapt once again, developing new technologies and social structures. The agricultural revolution marked a significant turning point in human evolution, paving the way for the rise of civilization. It was a time of great innovation and change, setting the stage for the complex societies we live in today. Indeed, the seeds sown during this period continue to shape our world, thousands of years later. Despite our modernity, human evolution is an ongoing process. Yes, you heard it right. It didn't simply halt when the first Homo sapiens walked the Earth. It's a never-ending journey, a continuous process of adaptation and survival. So, you might wonder, how is evolution still happening? Let's consider a few examples. First, take lactose tolerance. Thousands of years ago, as our ancestors began to farm and domesticate animals, they started consuming dairy products. Initially, most adults were unable to digest lactose, the sugar found in milk. However, over generations, a genetic mutation spread that allowed adults to digest lactose. Today, around one-third of all humans can digest lactose, a clear sign of recent evolution in action. Then, there's the story of disease resistance. Throughout history, humans have been exposed to various diseases, each one a ruthless test of our survival. Some, like the plague or malaria, have killed millions. But in the face of these challenges, our species has adapted. Certain populations have evolved genetic defenses against these diseases. For instance, people in malaria-prone regions have developed sickle-shaped red blood cells, making it harder for the malaria parasite to invade. But it's not just about physical changes. Our brains have evolved, too. We've become more intelligent, more creative, more empathetic. We've developed complex languages, invented mind-boggling technologies, and created art that stirs the soul. All these are signs of our ongoing evolution. Yet, evolution is not a ladder leading to a predetermined end. It's a branching tree, a complex web of life where every species, including ours, finds its own path. And just as our ancestors adapted to their changing environments, we too are evolving to meet the challenges of our times. So where is human evolution heading? Will we grow taller, smarter, or perhaps develop new abilities? Truthfully, nobody knows. Evolution doesn't have a set direction. It's a process shaped by countless variables, including our environment, lifestyle, and even our choices. As we continue to adapt and evolve, who knows what the future holds for Homo sapiens? But one thing is certain, our journey as a species is far from over. It's a story that's still being written, one generation at a time. From the earliest hominids to modern Homo sapiens, the journey of human evolution is a story of adaptation and survival. Over the course of millions of years, our ancestors traversed the unforgiving landscapes of Earth, each generation passing down subtle genetic changes that would shape the course of our species. We began our journey with the dawn of humankind, a time when our earliest ancestors were just starting to carve out their place in the world. We saw how hominids like Australopithecus paved the way for the rise of the Homo genus, taking those crucial first steps towards becoming human. Then came the rise of Homo, a genus that would come to define our lineage. With species like Homo habilis and Homo erectus, we started to see the traits that make us human. They were toolmakers, hunters, and explorers, pushing the boundaries of what it meant to be a hominid. We delved into the lives of Neanderthals and Denisovans, our closest extinct relatives, who not only shared our world but also our DNA. They were a testament to the diversity of the human family tree, each branch a different story of adaptation and survival. The arrival of Homo sapiens, our own species, marked a turning point in this epic journey. We were not just survivors, but innovators, using our intelligence and creativity to shape the world around us. We painted caves, crafted tools, and built societies, leaving our mark on the world in ways no other species had before. The last ice age and the agricultural revolution were pivotal moments in our story. They forced us to adapt, to innovate, and to come together as communities. It was during these times that we began to see the foundations of modern human societies, from the first farming communities to the rise of civilization. But our journey doesn't end there. Evolution continues, shaping us in subtle ways even today. We are a product of our past, molded by millions of years of evolution. But we are also the architects of our future, capable of shaping our own destiny. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of our past, we gain a deeper understanding of who we are and where we come from. Remember, evolution is not just a chapter in history, it's a story that's still being written.